Welcome to episode 3 in the series showing you how to set up your own multi-room DVR with TiVo. In episode 1, I did the unboxing. Episode 2 was all about how to set up the main TiVo. In this episode, I'll show you how to set up a TiVo Mini in another room. Episode 4 will be setting up the TiVo stream, and episode 5 will show you how to replace the hard drive in the TiVo with a bigger hard drive for even more storage. The main TiVo I used is a 4-tuner TiVo Romeo, which means I can record 4 shows at once. Each satellite room has a TiVo Mini that can watch live TV or stream previously recorded shows from your main TiVo to your TiVo Mini. The TiVo Mini also runs several apps including Netflix, Hulu Plus, Amazon Instant Video, Voodoo, Pandora, Spotify, YouTube, and more. Included in the box is a setup guide, TiVo Mini, classic TiVo peanut remote, batteries for the remote, a power cable, and an HDMI cable to connect your TiVo Mini to your TV. The setup guide shows four easy steps to hooking up your TiVo Mini. Step one is to activate your TiVo Mini either on the TiVo website or by calling TiVo customer support. Have the TiVo service number handy, which is printed on the bottom of the TiVo. After activating the TiVo Mini, you have to wait 15 minutes before moving on to step two. Step two has you ensure that your main TiVo is connected to your network. You can do so with either a Mocha adapter or an Ethernet cable. We already did this in my previous video with a Mocha adapter. In step three, you connect the TiVo Mini to the same network using either a Mocha or an Ethernet cable. Step four is to power up the TiVo Mini and complete the guided setup. First, plug a coax cable from the wall jack to the coax in on the TiVo Mini. If you are in a room that has Ethernet on the same network that your main TiVo is plugged into, you can plug Ethernet straight into the TiVo Mini. Performance has been the same for me on both of them. Then, run the HDMI cable from the HDMI out on the TiVo Mini to an open HDMI port on your TV. Finally, power up the TiVo Mini. Here is a wiring diagram for connecting through Mocha. And here is a wiring diagram using Ethernet. From here on out, use the TiVo remote to follow the guided setup on your TV. After booting up, you select your country and begin the guided setup. After agreeing to the terms of service, you tell the TiVo Mini how it is hooked up to your network. Select either Mocha or Ethernet, depending on how you hooked your TiVo Mini up. In my case, I'm using Mocha. After that, it connects to the TiVo service and downloads an update if available. On mine, it installed an update and then rebooted itself. After rebooting, I had to go through the first few screens again and choose my language, agree to the terms of service, tell it to use Mocha or Ethernet, and then I got to a screen titled IP address. More than likely, you want to select the first option for DHCP. If you're not sure about this, just select the first one. This is the way it is in most people's houses. After this, the TiVo gets the setup info. Then you get to name the TiVo box a user-friendly name. After that, you're done. I was shocked at how easy it was to get it up and running. My shows showed all of the shows that were recorded on the main TiVo, and watching them on the TiVo Mini worked perfectly. In the next episode, I set up the TiVo stream so I can stream shows from my TiVo to any device in my home or outside of the home. A phone, a tablet, etc. Thanks for watching and good luck with your TiVo setup.